What's up, guys? This is Alyssa again. We're back for the face-off. I have the main event with me tonight. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. On my right, I got Mr. Trevi. Don't know. Introduce yourself, <laughs> man. Introduce yourself, oh, I, got it. Well, I thought I was going to get this whole, like, intro. No, thing. no, no. Get, you, get it off. Catches missiles with his bare hands. No, nah, it's your boy Machete, Trevi. Everyone already knows, you know. Okay. And on my left? We got the nefarious and ever so charismatic... Punjabi playboy, <laughs> also known as the Battle MC Spook One. What up? I like that. I like that. And okay, let's get right to it. Okay, let me know, Trevi. I'm gonna start with you. Let me know what will happen November 21st, 25th. Sorry. Uh, so most a lot of people will probably go to the Belmont if they're smart, and they'll watch some rap battles, full card, mm-hmm. full some fire one rounders. Mm-hmm. Fire. You know, I don't think DMS has done one rounders like that uh, at the Belmont. So one round battle. There's uh, some average rappers on the card, and then there's me, the GOAT. <laughs> Always main event, every card I'm on. Y'all remember? I know, I do. So, you know, Trevi versus Spook, that's what's going to happen. Okay. One rounder. And what about you? Well, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people may be going Trevi's way. They might think that because Trevi has a bigger reputation in DMS and in battle rap, these days in general Mm. that trevi is gonna maybe beat me but i don't think that's gonna happen i think that a lot of people might be underestimating my skill and i think a lot of people might be underestimating my my work ethic but the thing is you've been out here though so why should people underestimate what you've been doing because you've been no one's underestimating with nobody first of all because you wouldn't be doing this battle if anyone was underestimating you i agree you know what i mean like there's everyone would want to like I could battle anyone on the roster, you know? So the fact that I even said yes, like, you're not underappreciated or under anything. Like, I think you're decent. Trevi, Trevi, <laughs> Trevi, <laughs> decent. Trevi, Trevi said yes, but it was, hold up, hold up. It was hard to get that battle popping, Trevi. I need to know why it was that hard for you to accept this battle. <laughs> you know why. Just because, I don't know, like, I'm so tired. Okay, if you want the real reason, it's because since the pandemic, and there hasn't been big cards in Canada. I have been accepting battles for bags around Canada on small leagues, battling like no names, you know? And me as a competitive artist, like when I do this shit, like I like to clearly be better. When I go into a battle knowing I'm better than somebody, I don't try as hard. So I don't, I'm not scared to lose. I don't feel that like, oh shit. Like if I'm, if I'm getting a big look somewhere against someone who's, I think is as good as me or better than me, I'm going to go crazy. Just to be better and win that battle, which I do usually. But the last two years, I've been battling trash for bags. So I feel like I haven't been pushed. My pen hasn't been pushed. I haven't been doing crazy performances. Mm. So when I heard Spook 1, I was like, geez, another decent. Is, no, is, is Spook trash for bags, though? Well, I mean, I'm not getting a bag this time, like my normal bag. So it's, it's just it's, trash. It's, wow. <laughs> It's just wow. like a battle I had to do. Like wow. I, I'll, I'll do no. Like I, I, it's just like to me, it's not scary. You know what I mean? Like it's not like I feel. I don't feel like I need to go crazy or I'm, or I'm gonna lose. I'm still gonna do the shit because I, it's been since Marv one that I haven't been at the Belmont, mm. and and people need to remind to. I need to remind the city, you know, that it's not a game and shit, mm. and that you can't just be rhyming words on stage. I say it every time. Everyone just comes and rhymes words, and it's not that. You know what I mean? Like all your battles, just rhyming words. It's not that. It's, it's, it's funny that you say that because before, like a few seconds ago, you just said that, you you know, that I'm not underappreciated, that you no, took exactly. this battle because obviously there is a mutual respect there. But I don't think either of us are going into this battle thinking that we're going to lose. And I'm sure as hell not going into this battle thinking I'm going to lose. Now, I don't go into any battle thinking that I'm going to lose, but this one especially because, you know, I'm not going into this feeling anxiety or feeling like, damn, I got to really like, you know, outshine anybody. I'm going into this doing what I do and performing at a higher level than I ever will perform at. Yeah, that's that's chill. I hope so because you're going to need to. And, <laughs> and But I, it's not that like, dude, I had to convince myself. Like, I know like you are decent enough to battle me. So I said yes. Because, and you're not under, like, I don't think anyone's, like, undermining you. Most people are like, oh, damn, Spook got the look good for him. I would think. 
You know what I mean? That's probably the general general consensus. But what I'm trying, what I was trying to say was that's why it was hard to book me for this battle. That's why Fizi had to fucking ask me a thousand times, "Yo, so you're gonna do it? So you're gonna do it? So you're gonna do it?" Because I've been battling trash. And it didn't scare me. Like, I want a challenge, you know what I mean? Like, a really good challenge. Like, someone that I consider to be top tier. So, you know so, I mean? who, so who would you... If you had to pick somebody to battle next, after this one, we already have this one, who would you want as an opponent? On, on DMS or, like... Just in general, in general. In general. Well, I would hope to get booked by, like... You know, I want to go to... First of all, I want to go to the States. Okay. So, I don't care who I battle in the States. But, like, if I was to book on, you know, We, uh, we, we Go Hard or some shit... You like just it's the, trash... What? Even if it's trash? Well, that's the difference, right? Is because I'm not. Because it's from they, the states, trash. You want some trash out of the states? No, nah, but they don't know me there, so like they're not watching Canadian battle rap. They don't know about me. Okay, but so you're gonna I battle. Go there, okay, I give you an example. Look, look, look. You battle Matt Hoff on DMS. Yeah. Now you want to go battle, let's say, trash in the United States, and the argument is they don't know you. Yeah, so that I would have no to, I would to have, because I would have to battle someone. I wouldn't go get Tay Rock if I decide to go battle in the states. I'm gonna have to battle on a league I've never battled on. I'm gonna have to battle someone and prove myself for a long time, though. Because you no, know, not they- even because I'm actually good, and they they'll see that and they're like, oh shit! It's like when I went on I battle, they were like, oh shit! And they did a fucking podcast about me on 15 minutes of fame, and then the battle never dropped, so most fans didn't get to see it unless they caught the. But video you know that in the United States, the competition and all that battle. That's what I'm different. saying. That's why they saw me and they put me on. 15 There's like minutes millions of, fame, of Trevies and yeah. Spook ones. That's what I'm saying, VIPs. though. But, but I he- still smoked the guy that they thought was good on their league. And then I got put on 15 Minutes of Fame. They featured me on their podcast. They showed DMS battles I put on from Montreal. And that's what I would like to do. That was something that would push me is what I'm saying. A battle against Spook 1 in Montreal doesn't push me like that. I'll still do it because I'm, it's me. So the fact what? that Spook I'm 1 not been in the game, win. the fact that Spook 1 been in the game, because you can't just like disregard no, know, everything you, you did too, because my man been in I'm here before like he that, wasn't bro. even battling. He's been putting in work, yeah. King of the Dot and all of that. So. You just disregard all that and you just want to focus on... I just think, on- bro, like the last few times I've seen Spook, like I, when I battled Franchise, Spook 1 battled VIP. It was one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> but most, I'm, I'm most, not even joking, though. But most recently, It was though. like, I'm checking my phone every two bars and then I'm saying like the spiritual miracle, helical. <laughs> like it was literally that. Like I have rocks in no, Egypt but, but and most, plots of... Like, bro, but most recently... It's he, not the same thing he, at all. He batted Tyrell and it was really good. Yeah, I agree. It was, he it upped was, his game. He, and he no, that's what I'm saying. And he has history. No, no, I know. it. And, and he lost in the tournament too. I thought he won the battle. Like he pretty close battle with Sean. And I think I was the only judge that voted for Spook. But like, it's still not the same thing. Spook, you know man. what I mean? Like, you gonna let him reason. talk like okay, that, Spook? Yeah. So what do you, you have you to say about that? You gonna let him talk like that, you ha- Spook? You're still, you know, look, you're still somebody. I, there's a reason why he was doing it then, and he's not doing it now, and no one's trying to book him now out there. Okay. Like, and what do you have to, to be say about that? Perfectly honest with you, my history in the past, I never performed at my highest level. I had a lot of problems going on in the past, and I think a lot of people know about some of the problems that I had. I never showed up to a battle sober. I never showed up to a battle putting in like days or weeks of writing. It was always last minute writing. It was always showing up high as fuck and fucking up my battles. But no wonder. You, every, then why would you be mad that un- people are underestimate you, yeah, bro? But if when you that's look what at my for. last like three performances, they were top tier performances. That's true. And the battle with VIP that was like what, like three years ago? Yeah. Or like. Yeah, it was like three years it was ago. Like two, but yo, if you go in DMS I was, years, I was it's only two. Up. It's only two events ago, so it just happened. <laughs> Bro, I was I was I fucked DMS up years. against yo. VIP. I showed up. I I didn't sleep for two days when I battled Damn, VIP. Bro. I hadn't Damn. slept in two days, bro. That's so no, I can't any, hate. I any, was I was trash against franchise too that same night. But the difference is my version of trash is still better than your best version. Like, I, I honestly you know I mean? think like, that Trevi is not as good as people think he is. Why do you, you think that? You know why? Because look, in DMS, there's not that many people that are really dope. There's Chrome, there's Trevi, you know, there's myself and like VIP and Tyrell. And now Basics is jumping in. But how are you going to overskip really? my man Sean like that? Though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Napalm Sean. Yeah. I forgot Sean, but there's not really that many dope rappers and back when dms first started it was only pretty much trevi and chrome so like cap. there was no competition cap. bro there was no competition That's cap. you I came beat in like, like super late you beat like five like no-name jabronis and then all of a sudden you got like a battle with marv one and 
You no. know what's crazy? All the views that you have are 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 because of your opponent. It's yeah. not because of you. Your battle with Chrome has 1.9k views, bro. And that's the that's the championship match. It's because to be honest, outside of Montreal, nobody gives a fuck, bro, about you. Damn. And the thing is, like, you think you're some, like, superstar, but you're not, bro. And I'm going to bring you down, bro, on, on right. November 25th. And you told you just told me that you haven't started writing? Damn, good luck, bro. Because I'm coming prepared. I am coming okay. for a war. I'm coming to, ch you know what? I'm showing up to kick ass and chew bubble gum. <laughs> and I'm all out of bubble gum, baby. <laughs> Okay. All right, so yo, if no one cares about me outside of Montreal, oh why do I get bags? Why did I just get a bag to go to Vancouver? You get why did bags I get bags to battle to jabronis, bro? People You're a jabroni, are, bro. No, I am not yeah, a jabroni. Are. You, you are, wouldn't have battled. You literally wouldn't have a taken this battle if I was a jabroni, bro. And I am going to show you on November twenty fifth. Okay, so right. one word to describe Trevi and Trevi, one word to describe Spook One. Jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> and for you? <laughs> Overrated. Overrated. Ooh. All right. That's okay. Okay, so it's going down November 25th. Be there at the Belmont. It's going down. There. This is the be, main be, event. Before we wrap this one up, man, real quick, man. I just want to know I'm one thing. I'm heated, though, because there's so much shit to rebuttal just now. Like, this guy is talking But keep it for the battle. Okay, but the, at the end of the day, look. But no, because the battle is just going to be me flexing bars. Like, I'm just going to have better bars. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to be like, you said in the face off that. <laughs> This, that, and that. Like, no. <laughs> I'm going to have crazy bars. Everyone's going to be like, oh my God, Trevi's wearing bars. So briefly, Trevi, everything that he just said right now, what do you have to say about it? Because you're saying there's so much to be battle about it. Well, bro, just the fact that no one cares about me in Montreal is outrageous. I went and did- I didn't say in Montreal. I said outside of Montreal. Sorry, the opposite. My, my bad. When I went to Toronto the first time, I did a fucking PY because no one knew who I was. You were right. Beat that, went on to GZ, did crazy. They put me on World Dom. Then they put me against all the best up and comers they had at the time. Like, I get dropped on the main channel. Like, no one else in Canada really came up like that on King of the Dot, on DMS at the same time. I did three battles and I battled Math, Franchise, you know Marv what? 1, Lex Luthor in Montreal, Bro, put on I... for the city, battle Woodman, take these scrub matchups to remind everyone what it is. So that, <laughs> Bro. you know what I mean? Like, whatever, bro. Like, uh. honestly. <laughs> Like I, I'll give do your credit thing, bro. where like, credit is. You're due. doing better than you used to be. I can agree on that. You're nice. You're, you I'm, may I'm, be trying so hard. If you started writing I'm, now, you dude, already lost, though. Dude, like, honestly, if you're at home even, rehearsing even right my, now, you lost. Even my last few battles, I didn't put in the type of work that I should have. This is the only battle that kind of enticed me to actually write because it's the most important it, battle of your life. Stop. <laughs> It is that, though. That's cap, bro. It is because you're Most on your comeback. Battle. You're okay, feeling nice, all, bro. You're at your best. Like, you said it. I'm at my best. Now you have a big shot against someone who's like I'm not, I'm known in the city at, as one of the best battle rappers. I'm not so looking it's your at this battle. as a big shot. If you look at any of my old battles, I never called out anybody because I was never really looking to like. Okay, this is the guy I have to battle, or that's the guy I have to battle. I just go out there and do my thing. And if I'm if I'm hungry and I'm 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 hyped up to write. Damn, bro. It's going to be something else. All right. All right. That's well, cute. we have it then. <laughs>